Okay, Cowboy Nation. I woke up this morning and uh, was reading the uh, Fort Worth Star Telegram, and the headline in the sports page was Tony Romo takes scout team snaps to mirror Aaron Rodgers for the defense. My first thought was, wow. Here we're talking about statistically the greatest quarterback to ever play for the Dallas Cowboys. Men, why, uh, men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. Statistically, he's the best to ever do it. We know he only has the couple playoff wins, but as far as yards, touchdowns, uh, statistically, he's the best to ever do it. And he's hungry enough and humble enough to go out and prepare the defense for this weekend's challenge against Green Bay. We're one day away. And preparation is, is such a huge key in this game. And the greatest quarterback to ever play for the Cowboys is, is on the scout team this week. I'm more impressed and I'm a bigger fan of Tony Romo this year than I have ever been. And I have to be honest and say that I've been critical of Tony Romo earlier in his career with some of the mistakes. And later in his career, uh, I've come to respect and be a fan of what he does, uh, what he's capable of doing on the football field. He was never an average quarterback. He's always been... Uh, a good quarterback just prone to certain mistakes at certain times. But a lot of people don't even remember that uh, there were a few years where he had the, the top quarterback rating even in the fourth quarter. And a lot of people don't even, a lot of people don't know that or remember that. But as great as he is, he's humble enough not only to uh, announce that Dak Prescott deserves to be the starting quarterback for this team. He's humble enough to work with Dak Prescott and to help him in his development. And the man is humble enough to be a scout team quarterback to get the defense ready. This is a winner, y'all. That's leadership. That's... uh. That's just a winner. Tony Romo is a winner. Nobody on this team deserves a, a, a Super Bowl ring than Tony Romo. He deserves it, man. I respect this man more than anybody right now. And truth be told, we still have a lot of football left to play. You know, it only takes one play for any position or any player to... Uh, be have to be replaced. And so, at the end of the day, he might get another opportunity. But regardless of that, I'm a bigger fan of Tony Romo right now than I have ever been. And I have been a Tony Romo fan. But there's no doubt about it. In preparation, he helps us get ready for Aaron Rodgers. I think he mirrors what Aaron Uh, that we could get to uh, practice with our defense for an entire week. So hopefully uh, this will make a difference for us on Sunday tomorrow. So so it's a it's a it's a big game, and uh, I wanted to share this video because I don't know that this will make national news. Uh, this story, but it it definitely deserves to be uh, spread as much as possible to show the character of the greatest quarterback to play for the Dallas Cowboys. And we, if you look across the league throughout history, it's some of the great quarterbacks uh, towards the end of their career, especially specifically in uh, times where, you know, their predecessor was uh, brought on board or actually took the starting role. You didn't see Brett Favre, Help Aaron Rodgers. I'm telling you, man, this guy, Tony Romo, man, is more and more impressive to me. He, His character, his toughness has always been um, 
it's always been a respect for me for his physical toughness. Yeah, he's he's dealt with a lot of injuries, but Tony Romo has played hurt as much as any quarterback that I can remember. And this year, the mental toughness uh, to not only be belittled and to have to take a back seat to a rookie quarterback, he's done it all gracefully and with, with class. And I can tell you, man, I'm a bigger Tony Romo fan today than I've ever been. All right? Let's go Cowboys.